once again and welcome back to my channel okay welcome once again to this episode of the couch moments right so today's episode is going to be i don't this is something i don't usually do but it's out of my i won't say the word comfort zone but you know you know these kind of things that when you you know you just keep it to yourself and it's like you're dying inside it's one of those things that you know there are things that when you know you need well, I know the thing you know you know you drink what i drink what the thing is not coming you cannot you cannot just put it down you know those kind of situations good that's what we're going to be talking about my you guys so today i'm going to be talking to us about like i said it's not something i talk about because you know i I have I have had the opportunity um, to like now so today's topic is going to be about the mess you know the mess that is um, Nollywood just to be I just want to make sure that I'm articulating it in the language that I want to use the ugliness that is Nollywood and for an industry that yeah that that's it. it's the ugliness that is in that is nollywood right now and this is not to say that i'm saying that everybody in nollywood is that you know but you know when you talk about people who have or who are supposed to be pioneers in the industry that's and and you see the level and how low they go you know, you, 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 you ask, you know, you ask, you know, you begin to ask or you begin to wonder, okay, so those parents who at the time stopped their children from being actors and actresses for the reason of promiscuity, were they right? I was actually um, soliciting for someone who is very dear to me and I met Zebe Jiro at the time and you know while I came for someone you know I came to find out for someone you know what the process was you know you know so let me go back to the history now this is some so coming from someone who you know I actually had the opportunity to actually have something or you know I, I wasn't deep into Nollywood but I was able to meet the players at a, at a time in my life and at this time you know if I had to permit myself to say it was Zebejiru I was fortunate of, or enough to meet him one-on-one -on -one at the time but then I didn't have any I didn't have any I didn't have any um, you know ambition to be an actress I came you know to or, you know on someone's behalf because I needed to find some information to get some information and I recall the video telling me so what about you and I just burst out laughing and I was like oh no that I'm not caught out I can't be I can't act I can't do you know and he was like I'm sorry you know but the person I'm seeing here you know he was giving me every reason he was telling me every reason you know why I was or why I could have been a good actress but truthfully, it wasn't my thing at the time. Now, like I said, for someone who has been able to, you know, I'm one of those people, you know, who I've, I've seen the industry grow to what it is today. And I'm so proud of where they are. It's not much. It's not, you know, I, I, there's still a lot of work to do. And that is one of the reasons why, you know, I'm saying this. I'm so I'm going to use this opportunity to say shout out to Genevieve Naji for her netflix deal for everything because she just put us on the map and i am so glad because there was a time in my life i was when i said when are we going to get here i mean these are the people that i saw and i i always want to see on the big screen you know and i recall there was this interview i saw sometime where Lupita Nyong'o made a statement about Genevieve or Motola these are people RMD these are people she grew up knowing and watching you know and at a time in my life i was beginning to wonder today will lupita yongo think or ever ask you know or even say again um you know make the statement again because you know it was for i can i can imagine you know this wide-eyed girl who grew up watching the likes of genevieve and she was now in hollywood so i now began to ask if lupita yongo could be find herself here when would our own when would the likes of Jenna because they are the ones I want to see they are the ones that started you know this industry they are the ones who are the, called the pioneers of this industry we're talking about Nkemo I'm talking about Kanayo Kanayo there's so many of them you think about it but 
you know, like I said, kudos and shout out to Genevieve Naji for putting us on the map. I've always adored and loved her. Her, her, her she's she, the way she carries herself, the way she is. She's such a, you know, when you see her, you know, she she doesn't give a lot of herself out, but you could easily or say no that you know she's a beautiful person. Now, why I'm saying this specifically over the week, you know, and I, I oh God. Whew, why am I saying this? Not look no, okay. Now, this is the Nollywood that is so messy. Where a lady or colleagues, and the thing is, it's with the women, you know? And you know, this brings the question of this issue of ladies are not supporting each other in the industry. We've heard about it in the music industry with Tiwa Savage and um, Yemi Alade. Why don't they support each other? There was even uh, some time on Instagram, you know, there were people throwing shots at each other. And I'm like, how petty can we be? We are women who are supposed to be supporting each other. Now, because I can, uh, it's difficult for me for, to do Mugbo Moya, I'm going to put... I'll try, I will really try to put uh, some of the Instagram, um, you know, the Instagram, um, um, the, the, the conversation that was held. And in a nutshell, this was a conversation between. Um, you know, there were a couple of them who were talking about Tonto DK being a ride or die friend, that kind of thing. And then Kossi came up and she was throwing shots, man. And I was like, mm. you know, and you know, things like this, you begin to ask, why would a fellow woman do this to another woman? You're supposed to be, this is a hustle, you know, I've heard stories of the likes of Rita Dominic who spoke about you know taking um you know taking transport or not having money on them just to go audition and stuff like that now i don't know if it's true if what halima said was true or you know if course but you know i think sometimes when conversations hold you know as human beings without being told you begin to decipher your your something as intelligent people you know, you make your own deductions, you understand, you dissect, you, you know, break it down in your mind. You know, I'm not saying, I don't know if she did those things. And I'm also expecting, or I'm thinking, okay, maybe Alima Babuka is going to defend herself sometime. But then, you know, um, nothing has been said so far. Sometimes, you know, people always say silence is golden. It's true. But listen, there are times when the silence is really, really, really golden. You know, in this case, it's not one of those silences, you know, in this, in this, in this particular thing. Now, this is just one. Now, going further to, you know, we're talking about actresses who begin to slam each other. We're talking, and, you know, someone will say, oh, these are newbies, you know, and I'm asking, where did professionalism go? Where, where, what, we don't see the guys doing this, you know, and this makes me all tell ourselves that we women we really need to really we really 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 to begin to understand what it means for us to be able to stick together and grow and because together we achieve more we are a force to reckon with i'll just give you a little example when i was in university i remember then I remember, you know, my boy my boyfriend at the time, you know, guys I knew then, you know, they used to tell me a lot that um, you know, about my about us, you know, because we always used to move together. And I one day I remember I recall I there was this conversation that was going on and they were like, ha, ah, that's these ones. No, some people my daddy are and so you know that means no one goes ne next to them. And I was wondering why. And I was asking, I, and I asked, you know, um, my boyfriend at the time, and I said, why, why, why this? Why is it that, you know, I mean, is it like, is there something we're carrying, you know? And he said, ah, no, that guys usually are scared. Listen, this is the explanation he gave to me. He said, guys usually are not comfortable 
feel, you know, they feel um, intimidated when women are usually together like this. Hmm. Now, this was how many years ago? Fast forward, this is 2019. We're all talking feminism. We're all talking about women being together. We're talking about us sticking together and stuff like that. And it made me think, you know, at the time for them, it was about divide and conquer, you know. As long as they're not together, you can actually penetrate one of them and, you know, be able to talk to someone. But once they're together, you, there is, it's difficult for them as guys to be able to speak to anyone as long as we're together so for them it was always better when we were not together you know it made it less intimidating and now fast forward this is 2019 and we're here talking about stuff like that and it now got me thinking i'm like hmm you see that means you know at every point in time when women powerful women who are supportive of each other come together and are moving together you are a force already to reckon with and that means before any man even talks to you or any of you in that clique or in that group, he's got to check himself very, very, very well. That means his, his words have to be, he has to be careful what he says. He has to, he has to think, you know, take his time to think, really, really, really think before he speaks. Um, he has to be calculative because that's just what we women are. We put men or we keep men on their toes. Now, I'm, you know, I may be right because I'm, I'm forgetting things and I'm trying to remember a lot of other stuff, you know, um, at the same time. Now, which also makes me, you know, go back to the fact that, you know, most of us were raised understanding that women uh, we, we are, uh, we are, and it's, we are, not just that we are our worst enemies, but that as women, be very careful of the other woman. Unfortunately for us, it has played out so much in our lives, in everything that we do, that a lot of us, I'm one of those people, if you recall in my video when I talk about know who your friends are, I'm going to link it here for those of you who have not watched it. If it, 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 we, we have, most, many of us have been victims of women destroying women. I'm one of them. And by that, you know, by just by the simple, you know, by, it's not even simple, by acts like this, you know, we have a lot of women who disengage themselves from their fellow women, you know, and become really good friends with guys. I'm one of those people. But in, in, in but at the end of the day, most times, most of those guys, do they really hold, have your back? Not all the time. They really have the, because you are a girl. You're not, a, you know, it's that thing. You are a woman. You are a girl. You're not a guy. So it's the guy thing. There's this guy factor. He's going to always have his guys back. He's going to always have his fellow guys back. That is how men have been raised that is how they think that is, this is their function whereas we ladies have been made to understand that the next woman who is sitting there over there is jealous of you founded or unfounded facts we don't care but sometimes you know it begins to play out and it shows it shows when a lady begins to date another woman's you know man that is a typical case of a woman, you know, who hates another woman. Why would you do that? You know, you are well aware. Let's forget the guy, forget the fact that maybe the guy didn't tell you, okay? Kudos to those who eventually find out. But then, you know, you shouldn't be in a hurry. And then some of you even find out, some of us even find out that this guy has a wife or even has a girlfriend and we died here. What do you want to get out of it? The broken home of another person a broken relationship of another person or you want to, what what do you want to and you think that what he's what you know what you know he has happened to the other lady is not going to happen to you there are so many of oops, there are so many of them playing out in our in, in in front of us here we have angelina jolie and jennifer aniston and cole what what is what happens here is going to happen there 
you are leaving a trail of broken heartedness. You have a friend and you'd rather backstab her because you're jealous. Because rather than ask or rather than this friend of yours, you know, saying, oh, I'd really, 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 I need to drink water. And saying, I'd really, really love, you know, for me, for us to be able to work together. You know? No. They don't want that. They don't want you to work together with them. No, they want to destroy you because they see you as progressing and they are digressing. It's life. Meanwhile, like I said in my previous video, there are other friends who see themselves progressing and they just want themselves to be the ones. Listen, understanding and know this, if you are in a group, if you are in a clique and you, it's, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not access, uh, you're not moving at the same pace or you're not as successful as your other friends are and you guys are in together as a group or whatever then something is wrong because that while this person is sitting down here and this person is in there you cannot tell me oh that your friend's predicament is not you you i mean it's it's a i think we're all human beings and empathy comes to all of us naturally should come to us naturally so when you see a friend of yours who is not in a good position in a good place and you're supposed to be friends i think the most empathic thing to, to do and you know the the, the 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 easiest thing to do is to call this friend of yours and say okay listen we're gonna do this together we're going to be able to, you know let's do this i mean i don't see i don't like seeing you this way because there is always enough to go around it's only for you to be able to look down open your eyes and see Okay, so we have situations where friends who are jealous of other friends and because of one's success or one's and you know you want to then you know some of them will say I outgrew I outgrew them but at the end of the day did you or have you as a friend you know while you guys are supposed to be friends they say friends of the same feather flock together that's true but have you also tried you know when you're seeing that your friend is doing she's pulling the grind she's doing this and it's not working what have you done you know because you are you're like ah you must do i saw a, um, a post it was um what's her name what means one necker and she said you cannot be my friend and you cannot grow do you see she said because i will tell you she said because that is me she said that is her some of some people will say maybe she you know she's doing too much some people would have said mm, i uh, you know what's her business but for her you know the success of those who are in her entourage is is it's important to her because as long as we are all doing great listen there will be no room for jealousy there will be no room for backbiting there will be no room for discord all those things are going to what they will they will not they will not exist because each person is doing for the other is feeding off of each other and we're all growing and progressing at the same time so we ladies we women we have it bad we've got it tough already in the world we're living in it's already tough for us because we have been given a certain uh, uh, education it's already tough then when we now have to add our own to our own our own to what is going on around us <sighs> it's hard and it's unfortunate it's really unfortunate I have to re take, get rid of this. So, uh, like, this is, you know, because we have been on, it's, it's something that is in our DNA. We do not know each other, but we already hate each other. We have never sat down with this person, you know. And then we've got ladies, women, who are supposed to be, you know, role models, who are supposed to be people that children, adults, teenagers look up to beginning to air laundry in public about how this person told this person lies and stories and you know sometimes if you ask yourself if not that a lot of people are quite mature about some of these things it could just begin to blow up from there somebody this because in that in that uh, communicate excuse me genevieve's name was mentioned and if genevieve decides to blow hot tomorrow genevieve could decide and say okay you come here halima abubaka so you are the one <laughs> then another one will now start their own and it keeps on going and it becomes a ripple effect and that's what i'm just trying to bring out here 
that each thing that we do as women to each other or to one another, it has a ripple effect. I have been in a situation where a guy was looking for, he wanted to get married to a chick. Listen, you guys, this one is, no, no be person just me. I was there. He was looking to get married to a chick. Now, me and this girl, we are in the same school. But for one day, she never for one day said hello to me. She would see me. And she, we knew the same friends. We knew the same friends. Fine, we're not supposed to, we're, we're not supposed to, we can't, we mustn't be friends. But, I mean, common decency of, ah, uh, hi, hello, you know? Don't and she would, we would be together. Even her cousin, I knew her cousin to the back. Guess what? The guy who came to marry her, me, I was on my own, Jejo. Hmm. You know now. Hmm. The next thing I was just walking. Truthfully, I didn't, I wasn't looking, I, I was just, I can't remember what I went to do. Um, this was happening, this was in Lagos. I went somewhere and lo and behold, I was just on the road, on my own, walking. And lo and behold, here's this chick. And who's she with? The guy who wants to get married to her. I looked at her. Oma, now you get raise hand. Ah, girl, what's up? For the first time in my life. Eh? I looked at her like, hmm? I put two and two to, uh, together immediately. I understood what was going on because the guy was just by her side. I put two and two together sharply. And when she said, oh, what's up? I was like, hey, what's up? And I continued on my way. Today she's married to that guy. They got kids. I don't want to go into details. But we, these are the things that kill us. Because tomorrow, nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows. We don't know tomorrow. If you find yourself in a situation whereby you're going to help your fellow woman, help her. If you find yourself in a situation whereby someone is busy pulling down another woman like you, please get out of there and tell that person to shut their mouth. Listen, there is no one that doesn't make mistakes. If I sit down and decide I want to confess my sins here, yeah. maybe this YouTube will blow. Yes, and so many other of us here. So if we see another woman bringing down another woman, you shouldn't be happy and you shouldn't be comfortable doing it. It's wrong. It's wrong. And that is the mess Nollywood has become. Women pulling down women. That is the mess Nollywood has become. So for me, I've said my own two piece. My, I've given my two cents about this issue. I don't want to just go too deep before I start rambling and going and enter Lokoja. I want to come back. Mm -hmm. So, all I'm just saying is, we cannot rise by throwing each other down. No. We only rise by lifting the other up. Alright? And on this note, guys, I gotta go. I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not feel to like, and please not feel to like, share, subscribe. And share this video share this video you guys share this video like and subscribe to my channel and of course if you also enjoy my content feel free to give me topics or in the comment section feel free to put in topics that you think I could or I should talk about I have a couple of topics that I've brought out here for us to talk about um, which I'm going to talk about on this channel so but feel free to you know in the comment section you know encourage your sister and you know put your comments on what you would like me to talk about next okay and yeah until my next video hey and do not fail to the notification button <laughs> so until my next video au revoir